I can't tell you how grateful I am to have the opportunity to speak here today. Not so long ago, my life was running from the police, fearing the police, and avoiding the police. Not because of anything that the police had done to me personally, but due to the animosity I had allowed to grow inside of me, making me believe that they were my enemy. But today, praise God, I am filled with hope. A proud American citizen who has been given a second chance. My transformation began in a prison cell where I found myself a three-time convicted felon facing yet another sentence. I gave my life to Jesus and made him a promise that I would spend the rest of my days helping others like me. My first help and support came from the unlikeliest of places, the FBI agent who arrested me, Richard Beasley. He is now a dear friend and has been a source of encouragement to me throughout my entire journey. I am grateful for the men and women of the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department who volunteer their time to people who are returning to our local community after incarceration. These are the real life heroes who put their lives on the line every day armed with the promise that they made to protect and to serve have made a tremendous impact in the lives of men and women reintegrating back into our society. My hope for America is that formerly incarcerated people will be afforded the opportunity to take advantage of the fact that we live in a nation of second chances. My hope for America is that law enforcement and people in the communities across our country can come together and realize that as Americans, we have more in common than we have differences. My hope for our great nation is to continue on this path we are on of being the most prosperous country in the world. I'm so proud of John with his life's turnaround and for all the lives that he's helped to change. It may be hard to believe that as a retired FBI agent, one of my best friends is a person I arrested for bank robbery. When I met John 15 years ago, he was angry, scared, frustrated, and anxious about his future. On the drive to prison, I stopped at a convenience store and bought John a coffee and a donut. After he was sentenced, John sent me a necktie and a note thanking me for treating him like a gentleman. Five years later, when he got out of prison, John called me and wanted to meet for lunch. He was a different man. He talked about starting a re-entry program for men and women coming out of prison. Over time, John earned the trust and respect of the law enforcement community, many of whom volunteer in John's Hope for Prisoners program. I'm grateful for President Trump's commitment to criminal justice reform. On February 20th of this year, he was the guest speaker at the Hope for Prisoners graduation. He stayed much longer than scheduled to hand out diplomas to the 29 men and women who graduated that day. What a sight. The most important man in the free world shaking hands and pledging his administration's support to ex-offenders. Their families were there. The community was there. What a great second chance. I also appreciate President Trump's support for law enforcement. I always felt like I had strong support as an FBI agent, but there's nothing worse than knowing you're being second-guessed when you're doing your job. In certain parts of our country right now, law enforcement doesn't feel like they have the support from their local leaders. They're being painted with a broad brush, unfairly, with calls for defunding. But as President Trump knows, the overwhelming percentage of law enforcement officers are good, smart people who are doing their jobs very well. And they can change the world working with people like John. Thank you. So now I'd like to invite John's wife, Jamie, to join us as I grant John, I'm not sure you know this, a full pardon. So I don't know if you know that, Jamie. Come on over here. It's Thank just you. an honor. And uh, you have done incredible work. Thank you, sir. And all of Las Vegas and all of Nevada and all of every place in this country is very proud of you. The job you've done bringing people back. And you're right, I was supposed to be there for five minutes. I stayed for an hour you and a half. Yes. Because Sorry. it was so interesting to me. Congratulations to both. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. Richard, thank you very much for the job you do. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.